Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 7th of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever I'm going to give you the broad themes to expect but please stay with me because I then will dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac sign forecasts, the key influences for each of those signs and the dates. Now this week begins with Venus and Mars having relocated into the sign of Aquarius. Now waiting for them is Mercury and Saturn. Mercury stays with Venus and Mars through to Thursday before itself ingressing into the sign of Pisces. So we've still got a lot of Pisces energy going on. Also the Sun in Pisces is aligning with Jupiter in the first half of this week which is very uplifting energy. The second half of this week it goes alongside Neptune. Now that could see us wanting to conserve our energies a little bit but also indulge anything to do with film or uh, photography, uh, escapism in a creative way. The quarter moon on Thursday however is in Gemini and because Neptune's in the mix this 12th third house access can create the conditions for gossip or for distorted messages. So we can use the clarity of Venus and Mars in the more logical sign of Aquarius to push back on that a little bit, to work on uh, networking with others, to perhaps reach out and and re-engage with people in a way which has been much more difficult to do over the last couple of years because of uh, the COVID restrictions and all of the reality of that particular outbreak. Venus and Mars can be quite non-judgmental in the sign of Aquarius. It's very much about community. So linking with others, but being more mindful also of the more psychological dimension of all of our situations is what I feel are the key issues of this week. If you are new to my channel, I would be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, I've written these for years, please see the link below which you can uh, subscribe through. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of my special combination of a, a natal character analysis and a 12-month forecast, which will see you learn so much more about what makes you tick individually beyond your zodiac sign, please see the link below for a 30% discount. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 7th of March. The arrival of Venus and Mars in your sign is definitely something to celebrate. Ever since the 5th of November, Venus has been making its way through a deeply psychological part of your situation. It's got caught up in all sorts of other influences. Of course, more recently with Mars, which isn't all bad, but it has been in a conjunction with Pluto as well. And so I think a lot of issues relating to trust, uh, how invested you are in certain involvements, uh, thinking very much about past relationships, reminiscing, nostalgia, all those things are very much to do with working our way through uh, the more uh, latent stuff in our situation. Now with Venus and Mars, the planet of action, moving into your sign, you're moving very much into the present. If you have gone through a separation in a relationship or a tough time with friendships and just other people generally, you've not felt quite so self-assured, you're definitely going to come back into your own now. Also, your financial picture is strengthened by Jupiter's continuing alliance with the Sun, which runs on from last week's new moon. But it will be important to use your resources carefully because the quarter moon this week on Thursday and the arrival of Mercury in your set of resources from your sign asked you to juggle the resources you do have in an astute way. And because Neptune's in the mix on the quarter moon and the moon itself is in the very warm and very affectionate fifth house of your situation in the bubbly sign of Gemini, there could be a tendency to be a bit free and easy with your money and someone close to you may actually mistake you for a bank. And if this has become a little bit of a repetitive pattern and they're not really taking enough res responsibility for their own financial situation, you may need to just push 
back a little bit. But generally, a very positive and much more progressive week for you.